Hello guys, welcome back to our channel, Life Reviewed. My name is Deb, and in this video, I'll be sharing my thoughts about the episode 1 of the Foundation TV series currently streaming on Apple TV. There has been a lot of chatter from the viewers. Mostly people are divided right now into two extremes, one who like the series and one who absolutely hate the changes made to the original story written by Asimov. In this video, I'll focus on the changes made and if I as a fan like them or not. It's completely my personal opinion and you might not agree with them and it's okay. Spoiler alert here, if you haven't yet seen the series, go watch that and then come back, I'll be right here. So as the episode starts, we hear the voice over by Gal Donick and here we see the first major change. Gal is now Gale and the character has been changed to a woman of color in this series. She travels from her home world of Synax to Tranter, capital of the Galactic Empire to study under the famed Harry Sheldon, the creator of the predictive mathematical subfield of psycho history. They are both arrested on charges of treason, Sheldon because his model predicts the imminent collapse of the empire and Donick because the empire wants her to publicly discredit psycho history. Donick instead confirms in Sheldon's model and condemns them both. But they are spared by uh, Brother Day or the Emperor Cleon 12th after the Star Beach. Tranter's space elevator is destroyed by apparent terrorists from the feuding periphery kingdoms of Anacreon and Thespis. Another big change here in the books there was one Emperor Cleon, but here we see a galactic dynasty made of the clones of the Emperor, and for some reason the Emperor is called Empire and it just irritated me. Brother Day exiles Sheldon and Donick to the periphery world of Terminus, where they are to build a repository of human knowledge that Sheldon claims will shorten the dark age that will follow the Empire's fall. Now in the books, Sheldon was never exiled. He created the two foundations from Tantor itself and stayed on Tantor and died on Tantor. I can understand they want the main character to stay on for some more time in the series to give it some sense of continuity as the books jumps hundreds of years in the future and there are no common characters within the stories. I guess that's the reason they have decided to go with the genetic emperor character so that brother Dawn, Day and Dusk will be there in some form or other even if there is a time jump of hundreds of years to give the uh, character um, some sense of uniformity for the viewers also. There are some future scenes on Terminus. And we see Salvo Hardin and he is a she now played by a black woman and for some reason she is the only one who can go near the time vault which is now suspended in media and has some sort of a force field. The show's writer David Goer said that the concept of the time vault has been entirely changed for the show and that it contains some sort of surprise which is not seen in the books. In the books, the time vault was made just to show the projection of Harry Sheldon when there was some crisis for the foundation. Hope they do something interesting which was not there in the book. Also, I can see that the character Gale is being set up to be a mentalic. Maybe it will be she who will set up the second foundation. She is, seems like a composite character between, uh, between um, Rake's daughter and a few other characters we have sh seen in the books. They have shuffled many things for the series. The timeline is all different from the books. Demerzel is now a woman and the character is still the first minister but in the books at this stage Demerzel was long retired. Harry too was retired from the post. I am quite disappointed at the casting of Eto Demerzel. Uh, I felt the actors lacked the gravitas and the personality to play such a mysterious and enigmatic character. Those of you who have read the books know that this is a very important character for the future of the series. Overall, it's a very well-made and beautiful series. The bu big budget shows in every scene. They are going more into the politics of Tranter and showing us behind the scenes which was glossed over in the books, which can be a good thing. But I can also see from this that they intend to stretch the book plot very long and I think that might dilute the plot and it might turn boring at some point. Me personally, I love the first episode. They have kept the essence of the books and follow it loosely. Love Jared Harris as Harry Sheldon and I hope to see more of him in the coming episodes. So that's it guys from uh, me. Uh, do put in the comment section um, any points that you want to mention. Uh, tell me what you liked about the series, what about the changes and what you disliked and uh, any questions that you might have on this new series so that's it for today i'll see you guys in the next one till then stay safe and goodbye